In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a fireball in Roblox Studio. So, with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. So, first, I'm just going to move this flame ball that I already made. Um, I don't know why I call that flame ball, but I'm going to move it over to server storage. That just makes it kind of like disappear, so we can start from scratch. So, using what we learned from my previous video on how to make particles in Roblox Studio, we're going to be making a fireball. So this is part one of a two-part series. First, I'm going to make the fireball VFX, and then sometime in the near future, I'm going to code it and make it an actual fireball. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new part to the workspace. And actually, I'm going to add it from the top right here. I want a sphere. So add a sphere, and I'm going to move it up a little bit. So as you guys can see, I have this huge, um, this huge particle pack right here. I'll leave a link for this particle pack in the description. I just found it off the toolbox and it's really useful, like it has so many different things. But um, we're gonna try and use the things meant for flames. So let's see. Six and a half hours later. Alright, this one looks pretty good, I'll be honest. I like this. So we could use this for the flame and then for the smoke, we'll look for that later. Alright, so once you go back over here to the part, you can add a attachment just so that the particles are together. And then from the attachment, add a particle emitter. So, I'm actually going to add two different particles for this. I'm going to add a flame, and I'm going to add a smoke. That way it makes it look a lot more realistic. Particle emitter, um, I'm going to change the texture first. So I just copy and pasted it from the texture pack, and I'm going to just turn the speed off. Now, I'm going to make the sphere transparent, so we can't see it. So it won't go in our way. Okay, so you see we just have this like light ball right here. Um, let me take this light emission up a little. This is so bright. I don't know. Okay, so I think this flame is pretty much done. So I'm gonna name it Flame. Flame. And then I'm gonna go send my part. Fireball. I'm gonna put a screenshot after I finish fixing this up for the flame and then for the smoke. And uh, now I'm gonna add a smoke to make things look more realistic. So, I'll turn this off just for now. Rename Smoke. And I'm gonna find a particle that looks like. I'm gonna find a texture that looks like smoke. Okay, I think this will work perfectly. Dense fog. So I'm just gonna select this texture, copy and paste. And come back over here. So you can see we already got the fire going. Like the main. You can already see that I got the main part of the fire going. So it's kinda like a campfire. Or like a. Fireball. Okay, so copy and paste the texture and I make the color black. Oh my God. I make the color black. Enable. Okay, and another thing is in my previous tutorial, I wasn't exactly sure what Z offset does. Bruh. But the best way to explain it is it's like it's positioning. So the higher the Z offset, that's what, you, what you'll see first. It's like the primary particle but then if you have another particle and you want it to be like look like it's behind it then you would make it a lower z offset I i'm gonna change the z offset to two and so now you can see the black is in the back and now you can see the black is behind it so i'm also gonna change the smoke to be z offset one just because and now i can tweak with the smoke as well um i'm gonna definitely take the speed down okay. it's not bad i'm bad not bad also, I can just like change the color real quick, see how that looks. So, if I make the fire, I know what color should I make it? Let me make it purple. Cause I feel like actually, I'm, I'm gonna make it blue. I'm gonna make it blue. What the hell? Oh no, nah. that that does not look right. <laughs> so that's all for today's video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to comment down below, leave a like, and. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you know when I upload my next video. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to make part two of this very soon. Not to keep you guys waiting. But yeah, if you have any questions or video ideas, leave them in the comments down below. And I read all my comments. If you look at my other videos, I always check my comments. So with all that being said, see you guys in the next video.